Creating player, building environment. Okay. Yeah. Alright, it is day 14, episode 14. Welcome back to another episode of the 7 Days to Die Let's Play series, Alpha 19.6. I'm here with my brother John. Uh, or as we call him, Jolly J. The Duke. <laughs> Yeah, so they you, I am your Duke. I never got into Dune. Like, I'm so stoked for the new movie. I think Dave, <clears throat> David Bowie ruined it for me. David Bowie? That wasn't he in the movie or something? Or no, it was Sting. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't it Sting? <laughs> yeah, and uh, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart is in it? Yeah. Jean-Luc Bacard? Yeah, he's uh, Gurney Halleck, the weapons master. Gurney, dude. Gurney. That's his name? Dude, he's a hardcore killer, dude. Like Gurney from E.T.? That's the only other Gurney uh, I've ever heard of. <laughs> no, th I, th I think that's Gertie. Oh, Gertie. Oh, I think you're right. No, you are, but what am I? Pee Wee Herman's a big adventure. The finest. <laughs> yeah. Award winning Tim Burton film. Tim Burton. Yeah, Tim. That was Tim Burton's first. Uh, what am I doing? That's uh, Tim Burton. E.T. E no, Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure, dude. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. And tell him Large Marge sent sent <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Au revoir, Pee Wee. Au revoir. <laughs> yeah, what a great movie. Au revoir, Francine. <laughs> It's really good in its own way. I don't know what it is. Francis. <laughs> I gotta make a horror trailer for that. I would agree that you have to do that. Okay, so... I've got... I'm looking at my tool belt here to kind of see what my loadout is. Yeah, for people who might be watching, it's been like a week and a half since we last played, so... Gotta play a little bit of catch-up with where everything's at. Oh, what the hell I'm doing right now? Oh, you know what I remembered on my solo file? Is that, like, if you have a forge that has stuff in it that you don't want in it because you want to move the forge, like if you have a bunch of clay in there, you can just craft the clay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and just kind of like... Mm -hmm. I assume you lose... I don't portion. Think, I don't think so. We could test it. Well, there's uh, 7,628 clay in my forge, and I get 7,600, or actually, 1,525 back. Yeah, so you so, might be right. Yeah, I think you do lose it. Ah, oh, whatever. I think it's a small price to pay. I don't like having this forge right in the middle of my... Water. Yeah. Flutter bullshit. Yeah. Um, what's this mission? Clear and retrieve supplies. 1.6 kilometers. You want to go with me to do that? Yes. I will leave shortly. Okay. Bear with me. What's up? Jarrett with me? Oh. I, I was like, Jarrett with me? Who the fuck is Jarrett? <laughs> oh, <A> fucking <laughs> stutter. <laughs> I sent you a party invite, first of all. And then Girl. here's... Oh, I don't have the option to share it yet. I'm just standing out here in the middle of the woods like a Steven Glansberg, dude. Try it now. Okay. Yep, you, there we go. Any spare food? 
Uh, yeah, let me run back to my base real quick. Uh, I think I do. <clears throat> Even Glansburg. Got a zombie. <clears throat> Spider zombie right outside. Uh, where's my ammunition? Got mods, weapons. Meet you at the quest. Yep, yeah, I'm on my way. I love how you can just left click while you're on your mini bike and just uh, drive with the WASD, so that way you can uh, drink while you drive. Of course, the controls aren't as good. As moving around with a cursor, but... There's a wolf I'm gonna kill real quick. I die, like, immediately. <laughs> First ten minutes into playing again. <laughs> uh... It did get hit on me. Yeah, you get way too close, man. So I think what I'm going to do with my perk points, I'm going to uh, work on my strength a little bit, so that way I can build blue tools. That way once we get an auger or chainsaw schematic, we'll be able to buy or make blue ones right off the bat. And that's something. I'm sorry. What's up? What did you say? Oh, just saying that I'm gonna go for minor 69er level four in strength with my perks. Yeah. That way I can build level blue tools. So, because I think we're gonna stumble across an auger or a chainsaw schematic soon, at a trader or maybe find one, and it'll be nice to just make a blue one right off the bat. Would be. Yeah, it's crazy, like, how important the auger is to progression. Yep. Yeah, once you get that, you can construct huge concrete structures, and you get a ton of EXP when you upgrade blocks to cobblestone and concrete. And there's, there's two levels of concrete, and you get a ton of EXP for both. The upgrade concrete to steel. Oh, yeah. If you've mined enough steel. Yeah. Or uh, iron. Yeah, iron scrap. Oh, cool, man. It's like in the desert. Different biome. Dead end, okay. That was a long way to go. Say. Hopefully it's a good POI. It's taking me forever to get there. Yeah, that's okay. I'll uh, kind of loot around. Oh, I forgot there's snakes. What? Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. I gotta figure out where its hitbox is. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty weak. I killed it in one hit. Shotgun will fix. <clears throat> I remember when we were little, growing up in Naples, and Dad would go outside with a shotgun and just kill like a snake that was in our yard. Smash <laughs> the rattlesnakes. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> it's amazing we're alive, living in such a snake-infested place.
you know what I need more in life of? What's that? Is major pain quotes. <laughs> bree, 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 bree. <laughs> when the uh, fat boy is uh, laughing or something, and then Damon Wayans, major pain, like, <laughs> confronts him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why, but that scene sticks out to me. I haven't seen that movie for a long time. Oh, I see you're coming here. The entryways in the back. Oh. Um, let me go. Oh, nice. You can have this one too if you want it. Yeah, I don't know what it's worth. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go throw some shit in my bike real quick. <laughs> and then we'll stroll through this. Someone there. Oh, here's the food you requested. Right here. Thank you, sir. Yep. Take a little swig from my energy drink. You ready or what? Yeah, although I do hear enemies nearby, I'll, I'll dispatch them. Oh, dear. Where? Alright, I'll go for- I got a, uh, yellow... There we go. Do you have a knife? I do. What color? Gray. Actually, I don't think it matters what color. I think there's a perk for harvesting more meat off of stuff. <clears throat> Dude, good good thing you saw this. Yeah. I know. Yeah, this is all yours by the way. Uh it's fine. It's 30 meat. 18 bone. Shit, shit, shit. You alright? Yeah. Alright, let's stop messing around. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay. Hello? Come on, fuckers. Yeah, get their attention. Draw them out of the woodwork. Bicycle handlebars. Oh. Okay. You got this little kitchen area. Nice. Do you have a need? I think I got the attention of a couple zombies here. Um, what kind of leggings? Purple iron. Iron? Yeah, I think that's probably better than what I have. Make sure they're iron. I'm sorry, they're scrap. Purple scrap. Leg. Uh, I've got blue iron. <laughs> so, no, it's okay. You can keep it. Thank you, though. Oh, no. How are you doing on food? Was that enough? <laughs> nice. Ooh. Leather compass. Yeah, 
food. I'm sorry? I'm at about half food. Here, I got something for you. I'm good. Uh, there's a garage out back. I'm gonna check. So, try to play it safe. Pretty much cleared up here. Oh, I found a schematic for, um... Oh, actually that kind of sucks if you want it. It's for powered, powered doors and powered bridges. Sell it. Sell it. Be nice to get like a ratchet or uh, oh here's your thing. Carrier satchel. What are you doing? <laughs> You're like uh <laughs> I don't know. That looked weird. Alright. Moving on. You can look in there. I didn't take anything. You can look in there. Oh. I took shotgun and shells out of that. Okay. Yeah, n not a very big score. There's an iron shovel and the anvil. Can I take those? Yeah, you can take everything. Right. Two things, and I'm full now. All right, cool, complete. Oh, it's a uh, fourteenth uh, day. I didn't even realize that till just now. Uh -oh. What's up? Just that. That is the fourteenth day. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, your volume cut out when you said that, so wasn't sure. All right. Uh, you want to look around this town a little bit, or should we head back? We could maybe look for, like, a working stiff or something. Yes. We should. To look for a working stiff. Yeah, I'm just kind of emptying out my inventory a little bit. As much as possible. Oh. Alright, let's see what this town looks like. Small. How the hell do I even get out of this house? You have to go to the basement. I'm not doing that shit.
Uh, there's like, oh, never mind. It's one of those sham wastes that doesn't actually have any food in it. Like an administrator building. Oh, there's actually yeah. a city over here, like a little bit further. This is actually a pretty cool looking biome. I like what they've done with it. It's been a long time since I've been in the desert. Oh, there's a snow biome right there. This is where like a bunch of biomes intersect. I remember back in the old days, like uh, when we used to play a long time ago, um, we would look for where biomes converged, because then that's where we would want to build, because then that way we'd have access to all the biomes, or at least multiple biomes from our starting base. Yeah, that's... You don't like that idea anymore? Yes. Alright, I'm grabbing a bunch of corn and potatoes and shit. Is that a trainer or what? No. From, uh, farms. Garden? Farms and gardens, yeah. I heard a dog. Well, that's unnerving. Oh, it's a coyote. Cool, man. That's the first coyote I've seen. Well, as in tradition, let's kill it. Okay. Huh? To the south. Winter biome to the south. Oh. Cool. That's awesome. We've got access to all these biomes. Yeah. On my single player file, I'm still like just in the normal woods biome. <laughs> Oh, I can hear you shooting. Oh, yeah. I know grabbing corn seems meaningless right now, but later on when we're going to make a garden, yeah. we'll be really happy that we spent the time to grab this shit while we're, we see it. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I still use my spear, like, pretty much as much as possible. Alright. Did you find a good store to loot or something? No. I uh -huh. hopped off to kill a... Hi yo. And harvest it. And then I Oh I hey. Have... Did you wanna do a clunky oil co thing? I think you requested that we do one of those. I did that because I we hadn't found a source for oil. But now we have uh shale oh, okay. in the desert. Gotcha. Now shale we can take almost as much time and just mine the shale and have enough oil to last Less forever pretty much yeah I'm not really seeing any good stores in this small town I don't know if we want to go further out on this day oh there's a Favales Academy I don't know if that's any good any clothes there's a few bookcases in it too yeah, I think that's mostly clothes and a few books as well. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that right now. Snow biome. Ah, oh, these freaking vultures, man. Annoying.
I'll try to remember to turn my headlamp off when uh, it's not the, not nighttime. Having it on during the daytime kind of makes everything look saturated. Yes, it does. <laughs> Damn, you've, ta you've taken a beating, dude. Enjoy my life. <laughs> I'm going to kind of head back to our area. So it's your turn to pick up the... No, I think that you get it for two days, remember? Because oh. one landed really close to my base. Switched. We can switch back. So... I'm going to search out this town anyways. Okay. I'm gonna return to the trader and then empty out my shit and then maybe try to f squeeze in another mission. Do you want to mark my position right now? Other what? trader. You found you found a trader. Another one, yeah. Oh shit, dude. Okay, nice. Good job, man. Thanks for letting me know. You want me to share that sa that point with you? Or did you get it? What point? The trader on the map. I can um, share that save point with you if you want. Sure. Waypoint. Yep, you can do that and I'll accept it. There. Well, what is this? Shaka Messiah? No, we don't have time to do this. Should we do this on uh, the next day? You want to loot the Shotgun Messiah Corp? I don't recall. I don't recall if we need anything crazy to do that. Well, we can we can be it out. Kill everybody. We can loot and get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Not for the faint of heart. Like we could die and lose our shit. Yeah, we could. I believe. Why? They do have money. Oh. Because I... This vendor has a, a... Augur schematic? Affirmative. No. Yes. Okay, I'm on my... How much is it? I'll pick it up. What do you mean you'll pick it up? I do have enough money for it. Oh, then why you need me there? I didn't finish my sentence. I don't need you. Oh, okay. Dude, nice. Good job, dude. I was just talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you are quite the daring adventurer. Good job. Sniper volume seven. Dude, that's huge, man. Now that you uh, have some money to spend, we were running deal. a ten percent off sale for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's a massive deal. You like the schematic? If you do, <laughs> I me, can only craft. I have a good feeling about let's you. Let's see, what is it? Minor sixty-niner. I don't know if I'll put in another point anytime soon. You look like you could handle. I, uh, oh, I would kiss you, but um. Well, I was just know, telling you that I was going to specialize in strength. I'm at level five now. And we need yeah, to be. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. Oh yeah. So actually, here, Boulder Buster. Yeah. So I'm level four now. Uh. So I can make blue shit. I think. Yeah, I can. 
So I think what we need is uh, motor tool parts, right? For the auger. Let me see. Auger. Yeah, we need 15 motor tool parts. I, I got the handlebars, forged steel, engine. Uh, maybe I should buy forged steel. What? It's too bad I couldn't help you. Well, maybe next time. I'm sorry, John. You went silent. Awesome if we had 15 motor tool parts. Oh. Lavin, shoot. Okay. Oh, um, shit. You just died. Legged out. Oh, you lagged out? That sucks. It's the excuse I'm going to use. <laughs> I actually didn't, but... <laughs> yeah. That's a good excuse. Do you need help recovering your stuff? Two point kilom two point one kilometers away. And I Jack. You need help? It would make no you'd have to fill it, completely fill your inventory. So, what, I don't know, you don't have to. I'll convene on you, you. Should really make another cycle. Another it's note. fine, it's fine. Uh, you do have to come to me to pick up the auger though. Okay. Because I'm too far away. I'll run, I'll run there on the morrow. Okay, I'm almost done getting my shit put away. It's ridiculous. Okay, there. Good enough. Alright, so... I'm not meeting up with you to take care of that then? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll run. I'll go take care of it this next day. Okay. I'm heading over towards you right now uh, to get the auger schematic. Do you still have that? Yes. Okay. Uh, we only drop our tool belt, not our backpacks. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I'm climbing up. Hello? Coming up. I see ya. How many, uh, motor tool parts you got? I'm sorry? We'll go take a peek. Okay. You gonna jump down? <laughs> oh. <laughs> be 
doing that. <laughs> I think I just landed on. I saved your life. Yeah, I can just uh, use you as an elevator. That's crazy. Learn something new. So, uh, we need motor tool parts and forged steel. I think, and then, uh, I think I've got enough engines and stuff for the handlebars. I have three motor tool parts and they are all yours. Here you go. Why would they be all mine? Because it's nowhere near enough to do anything with it. All right, well, I'll tell you what, every time I go to a trader, I'll look for motor tool parts to buy. Because we're going to need more anyway for chainsaws. So whenever you go to a trader, look for motor tool parts and I'll do the same. I will. And we'll get you an auger as fast as possible. In fact, we can share the auger. That way you can use it at night. I don't really need it. Okay. Need it yet, I should say. I'm going to need it. Just I'm good. Okay. Uh, I guess in the time being, I can build you uh, blue tools. Um, save the iron. Okay. I'm gonna run back. <laughs> oh, buddy loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You wake up and that's the first thing you think to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Dark reality. <laughs> Do you have a crucible? You have to be high level. Yeah, you can buy them too, or find them as well. I think I found the one that I have on solo, on my solo five. Sick. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, I don't have enough steel to even uh, make it. And the only way to get steel, steel right now is to buy it. This trader doesn't have any. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it to the other trader real quick. There and back. Still seeing uh, Krista. Still, she pisses me off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mom had glowing reviews of her. Really? Yeah. I know. Don't think she didn't like her. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm joking. I know. Uh, she's, uh, she's a lot of fun. She's fun to hang out with.
be kind of cool to build in the winter biome. Something I've never done. I have before. I bet you it's even cooler now. Because, like, sometimes it snows, you know? It's, like, cool when you're in your house and it's snowing outside. Like, that's something you only get if you have a base in the snow biome. But, the desert biome would be nice because that's the best place to get oil. Find oil shale. So that'd he be left like. Us. <laughs> yeah. He left us. I miss Michael Crichton. He was a legend, that's for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I made it. Traitor number two. my money in here. Uh, gas is going to start becoming a problem for me. I'm going to have to start disassembling cars but or now something. Now that you did the job, <laughs> I guess you ain't all that damn bad after all. Oh! <gasps> He's got the steel. 30. I'm going to buy 60. That way when... It's time for you. Actually, I wonder if he's just got a crucible? No, of course not. So... There. Now we'll have both enough steel to make two augers. That's most of my money, Don't but that's okay. Don't let the door hit you on your way out! Actually... Did you see what books he had? He's got a lot. Yes. Wasteland Treasures Volume 3. Yeah. Alright, now that Combat we're done doing one. business, get out of my store! Oh, that's just for stealth boots. Spear Hunter Volume 6. Already had that one. Okay. Sick, dude. I'm super pumped that uh, you got that auger schematic. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even look for motor tool parts. <laughs> the one thing. <laughs> I'm turning around. Me and my vacant brain. No, it doesn't have any. Okay. At least I checked. Gonna start having to hunker down here pretty quick. Seventh night's coming. Yeah, I'm pretty much stuck. I'm sorry? Uh, I pretty much can't leave. Uh. So I'm just hanging out. One of the books I got from that guy <coughs> allows me to find more um, bottles of acid in loot containers. Nice. Yeah. I've been buying them. I, I can eight. Yeah, they're kind of kind of rare.
what do you um, use to disassemble vehicles? We have like a uh, orange wrench, blue wrench, gray, gray one. <clears throat> you know, I wonder if I can build wrench. Oops. Oh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> yeah, after I uh, flesh out my strength attribute. A little bit more, I'm gonna work on my salvage operations. Is that a fact? That is a fact. Jack. Power back. Miggity Mac. Literally, I'm hungry. I might go make a snack. In real life? Yes. Okay. I'll throw some chicken nuggies. You might die. I'm in my base. And if I'm not safe here, then... Then you're safe shit. nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and what am I gonna do? Spawn and die? I don't know. I've had zombies spawn in my underground tunnels before on the seventh night. I hope they do. Yeah, that just recently happened to me. I was just mining away underground on the seventh night, and then I start getting hit. Uh oh. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay. Alright, so the goal is to survive this night is just to go down to my underground tunnels and tunnel away. Uh, as you can see, this base isn't really well suited to withstand a seventh night horde onslaught. Um, you know, maybe if it were made out of concrete, I could survive a while, but I don't know. So at this point of the game, it's better safe than sorry. I need to mine for rock anyway, because uh, when it comes time to build a concrete base, um, we're gonna need a ton, a ton of rocks. So, but we'll try to get the auger started here. What do I need? Oh, he never gave it to me. Oh, what the F? The whole reason why I went over to go meet up with him. God damn it. Okay, well, never mind. It wouldn't have been ready to use on this night anyways. Um, make sure we got enough food and enough water. We'll put our stuff away. If I have any repair kits, I do right there. Okay. I think I'm pretty much ready to go. Is 
ready for a long night of mining. But it has to be done. It'll make the end game much more worth it. So as you know, I like to uh, double the speed of when I'm mining here. So I'll do that where applicable out of respect for your time. I know it's not fun to just sit there and watch someone grind mats all day. So. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Texture issue there. No big deal. Yeah, I bet you the Seven Days to Die team, the fun pimps, really have had a lot of problems trying to make this game not glitchy. Especially since it allows you to dig underground. Like, I think that adds a whole lot of problems. Yeah, see? With textures and stuff. Five is alive. Welcome back. Say what? Welcome back to do nothing. Oh yeah. I might actually leave again. Dude, you gotta mine for stone, dude. How else are you gonna build a concrete fortress? My tools are on my body. All right. And yeah, I shouldn't probably move. I've got my forges working at least. So, all right. I know that blows. My inventory's all set up. I can't even run back to my bag because it's two kilometers away, and that would take forever. Take a lot of gas too at this point. Like I don't have a whole lot of gas anymore, and yeah. I, all I have is an orange, frickin' wrench, yeah. wrench. Oh. Yeah. But soon I'll be putting points into salvage operations, and then we'll be able to get decent wrenches. You have a chem station, so why not just do uh, make your gasoline? We found the desert. We found oil shale. Did we find oil shale? The desert. There's a ton. I saw at least eight nodes. Oh, you need something to make g the gas. Uh, grease monkey. The grease monkey. I suppose I. You've got points in the grease monkey. I suppose exactly. I. Exactly. If I collected the mass, you could, uh craft it, then we could split it. Yes, and you only need level two. But yeah, I could, I could... I could easily make that for us. Yeah, two levels is a lot to spend on something that I don't really need. Yeah. You know? Because I want to get us blue wrenches. Or, you know, mm -hmm. um, ratchets or whatever. Impact driver. Alright, so I'm actually gonna run this way, a little ways. That way when the horde is triggered at 2200, it will send the zombies to my underground location over here. And then I'll run uh, back to where I just was, and the zombies up on the surface will have to try to keep up with me. Which they probably won't, and the hope is, is that kind of confuses the AI so that they don't dig down at me. <laughs> hope that makes sense. Okay, so 2200. They're sending zombies at my current location on the surface. Now I'm gonna run in a straight line right through here. They're probably running into terrain up there. Boulders, trees, all sorts of shit. And 
Now, this buys me time. So even if they do catch up to me over here and start digging down at me from the surface, which they can do, um, it's very, very unlikely that they'll reach me by 4 o'clock in the morning when the seventh night horde diminishes. And again, this is one of the last nights you'll ever have to see me kind of sit here and hack away with a pickaxe at the stone. Soon we'll have an auger, and we'll be getting stoned like crazy. Alright, so I'm level 5 in strength. It cost me 2 points to get up to level 6. But even if I hit level 6, that won't unlock very much. So really, I have to spend 4 points to get to level 7 before I can reach a whole new tier of unlockable stuff. So we're going to stay here at level 5 for now. I'm going to get up to Shotgun Pro uh, right here. And let's see here. Definitely one more point in mother load. So I've got two more sp points to spend into strength. Then we're going to come over here to perception and dump some money into salvage operations up to level five right here. And then that way we can collect a lot more parts from cars, a lot more gas, stuff like that. So we got a plan of attack. We just have to get the levels to earn it. One thing that kind of sucks is that the fastest way you can level up in this game typically is by building with uh, cobblestone and concrete. Upgrading blocks, you get a ton of EXP. And I don't know if I can build... Alright, so I need to put one more point into Cement Mixer. I need level 4 to get there, so that's three more points plus one for that. So I'm five points away from that. Which really should actually be one of the first things I do. <laughs> Shoot. Never enough perk points. Yeah, so it is possible on the seventh night here for a zombie to appear down here. Uh, it's kind of rare though. And when they're digging down, once they start getting close, you can hear them kind of pawing away at the dirt. <laughs> kind of creepy. I haven't had that happen in a long time, though. Like, as you've been able to see through this Let's Play series, I just dug straight down to bedrock. And now I'm just going laterally. And no problems on the seventh night at all <laughs> doing this. And it's been like this for a long time. You know, since like Alpha Zero, you could just dig down and kind of skip the seventh night. Later on, though, uh, the seventh night hordes are really nice for uh, mass slaughtering zombies. You know, once you have a really good base um, and enough ammo to uh, kill a ton of zombies, <clears throat> and you get a ton of EXP, and they drop a ton of really good loot. So. We're just not there yet, but we will be. I think the next structure I'm actually going to build is going to be like a kill chamber. Like a place to spend the seventh night. This scene I'll be listening. I'm sorry? I'll be listening while I munch here. Okay. They're gonna munch into the microphone so everybody can listen. Mukbang, dude. ASMR mukbang. You're like eating carrots and shit. What's ASMR? Something Master Race? <laughs> I don't know what it stands for exactly, and I've never really been into it. But it's like audio stuff. Like, uh, really crisp sounding audio. 
Like it's supposed to be sounds that sound good to your ears. I think. I don't know if that's a fair way to describe it, but that's kind of what my impression is of it. Justin says that he would listen to it when he was going to sleep. Like, uh, some kind of, like, fabric ASMR or something. Autonomous sensory meridian response. Typically refers to the tingly feeling that travels from the head downward. That some experience in response to certain sounds, feelings, or descriptions. So it's the, uh, tingly feeling. Goosebumps, maybe. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan, like, of people attempting to do that to me. <laughs> do not elicit emotion. Well, that's just like if I got bought, like, a really high-quality microphone and I just got really close to it, and I was just like... And it's like, ugh. But you know what? Maybe for somebody, it's gonna get a tingle to go down their spine. It's like, really? See, I don't like that. That's not for me. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to a two kilometer run. Oh no, fuck that, dude. I'll help you get your stuff back. Why don't you just take my, my bike? I'll run to you on this next morning at 4 o'clock. I don't want to get out there too early. I'm going to have to deal with birds chasing me. And then once you get your bike, just uh, bring my bike, my bike back to me, because I'll be kind of stranded while you're yeah. doing that. Sounds good. Is there anything in it? Uh, a little bit of gas and some money. And what? Huh? And what? Money. Okay. Money and gas, which is kind of risky. Because if my bike disappeared, which could happen. <laughs> if that happened, I would not be against going into creative mode and just pulling something out of the creative mode inventory. You know, if we get fucked, like the game glitches out and we lose stuff. Yeah. That's what the creative menu is for, I think. I don't mean to worry you or anything, but on my private game, I was having issues. I fell through floors and buildings were collapsing underneath me. Why? Uh, I think the game was broke. Because you went into creative mode or something? No, I think... It had been a while since I hadn't deleted and reinstalled after an update. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Alright, um, I'm gonna end this episode here. That's it for day 14, episode 14. See you guys on episode 15.